Hey guys, it's your girl, uh, um, Bex. And today I have an exciting video for you guys. So we have flex days at my school. And so this is for my homework. I'm making two mini pitch pot animals. So if you don't know what a pitch pot animal is, it's basically you take a clay, um, it can be any size, and you roll it out to your other air out, and you make it into a shape of a pot, and then you use slip and little pieces of like decorative clothes and stuff for like the decorations. So let's get started. So I have this block of stone clay, and so I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay, so now this is gonna become the pot itself. And I'm gonna wipe my hands as a bowl of water with clay inside of it that I'm gonna use for slip. So I'm just gonna get the clay wet. Because you always want hydrated clay because they work the best when it's hydrated. And once your clay is hydrated, then you're going to, it's going to, it's going to end up sticking, but it comes up with the kitchen with um, soap and water, so don't feel bad if you get it on the kitchen table. And you're just going to press down really hard. You can stand up if you need to, but you just want to get all the air out of the clay. Because if you don't get all the air out, then when it gets this fire, it could end up exploding. And that's bad. Okay. And then if this clay on the table, you can kind of scoop it off and put it back in to the clay. And now you're going to make it into a ball. The best that you can. And I'm just gonna take a little slice off of mine. So, I just, just a little bit off. Since that, I'm gonna use the ladle on. And you can make any kind of pitch pot animal. It doesn't have to be an animal, it could be like a flower or something. Um, But I'm making farm animals today. So, I'm gonna make a pig for the first one. So once you have your clay in a bowl like this, then you're going to stick your thumb in it and press. And you're going to keep on pressing. And then you're going to press down as you're still on the inside. And you can use um, the other ones too. And you just smooth it out like this. And then the camera down just a little bit. So you see, I'm just moving um, it up. But you want to make sure that this is not too thin. And I like stuff like this, and you can kind of like slice it. it look a little bit better and it also gives you more clay to work with if you have a lot not a lot and so keep if you're gonna cut it through color the whole way around okay and then you don't take my spoon now um if you have like a needle tool and a felling knife and all that stuff, you can use that. But if you're at home and you don't have any of that, you can use a spoon, a fork, and a knife. 
and then the spoon can be used to smooth out if you use the back of it. See me some of that. Paige, do you want to say hi to the YouTube folks? My subscribers, my 54 subscribers. Hi, she's crazy. Don't trust anything she does. <laughs> She needs to have a disclaimer too, by the way. Oh, what? Do not try this at home, it's dangerous. No, it's not. Do you know what that did? I used my camera when I got cut off, so I'm back. And I am making flip now. So I have water, and I have this clay. And so I'm just rubbing my fingers um, against this. And Hoping that somehow this is gonna turn this lip. I'm not really sure how to make slip, so um, but it looks like I'm doing it. So I think if I dump some of this water out, that it would eventually do it. That's what I'm gonna do right back. So it's just a little bit of a detail. Well, no. It's just a little bit in there. I spilled some of it. But it's all good because it all cleans up. So I'm just going to continue just, just rubbing my fingers against it with the water too. And sometimes, um, Slip can be very watery, so I think that this is good. But just keep it in the water because it looks see that that slip. So um, I just remember that I have paintbrushes in um my room that I can use um for this project that I'm doing. I said, let's go get it. So. It's gonna probably be dark because I don't have my lights on. And so I'm making a pick. And so um, the paintbrush is also gonna help with that. Because you know, pigs, they have the little tails and stuff. So they're like curly, like curly flies. And so I think that's gonna be good. And then I'm going to do a cow. And where did I go? So I'm looking for my paintbrushes and some, because I think like a pig and a cow are the easiest and um, they don't take really long and I just love paintbrushes. Oh wait. Found them. So the three, four drawers to lock. Okay. So, I'm going back down now. It's dark. I'm sorry. And, like, a cow, all you do is just make little, like, scents, like, lace and stuff. So. And if I don't use all of the leftover clay that's right here, I can use some of that for the other clay. So, I have a whole bunch of these paint brushes that I'm going to open up. And I'm first gonna pull out the first one. And so I'm just looking on this. I'm just pulling the clay up because it's a little thick on the bottoms and you don't really want that. Okay. So there's my pinch pot. Um it doesn't look as pretty, but I will clean it off and stuff off camera and then come back to it later. So I also can dip this clay in the slit that I'm making to hydrate this again. And 
So I'm just gonna take a little slit of it. Well, I'm gonna cut it in half and then in half again. And then in half again. Oh, my mom's also in the kitchen. So if you hear talking other than me, it's my mom. Mommy, say hi. Hello. Okay. And so when it's over with the slip, just get it hydrated. And now I'm hoping to do it with it and then break. Okay, that'd be slim break. So I'm okay. and look, that's like a pig's tail, right? Like leave a comment down below. If you like, if you if you will see this, like in a stroll, like a, a real life pinch pad like this, if this would be a pig's tail. If you know this would be a pig's tail, right? I mean, I think it's it could be like. I don't know, I'm gonna try again. Um, then it's very thin. Okay. This is not hydrated. So I'm gonna try this again. And I think I'm only going to do one pitch pot on camera because I don't have a lot of storage space. So, and I don't want this already got cut off. So, I'm just gonna do one of them on camera. And if you follow me on Instagram, at simply underscore Becca underscore. Back with two A's, then you guys will be, you guys will see the finishing project. Okay. There's my piggy's tail. Okay, that's the pig's tail. Mm -hmm. Okay, mom um, says you can, so for good. Okay. And now I'm going to make the eels. Let's say use this and cut it in half. And we're just going to shape it in a circle and then flatten it upwards like that. And you do it same the other one and I am going to end the vlog here if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell beside the subscribe button so you know exactly when I post and you don't miss any of them I hope you have a happy Easter and see you guys in the next bye